Hey everybody, welcome back to Family Firearm Reviews. Today, we're gonna check out the Sentry Arms AP5P. Now this one is the P because it has the shorter barrel for, you know, P related to pistol, okay? So what this comes with right out of the box is two steel factory mags, and it does come with a sling, it does come with an optics mounting plate right here, and it does come with a cleaning kit, which is pretty cool. You do get this hard case, but for the price, you better get something like this. Uh, the price range on these ranges anywhere I've seen from $1,700 all the way up to $2,200. It depends on if you get the brace included or not. So what else is really nice about this is it has a three lug suppressor attachment under here, or it is a threaded barrel that is half by 28. So if you do want to suppress this at any time, that's quite easy for you to do. It is a delayed roller back design, so it's gonna reduce the recoil for us. So it'll help you stay on target a little better and we'll see how that works. Today, we're just gonna run the open sights right here that are pretty nice, and we're gonna see how those function. Now, we did attach the brace. Initially, ours came with just a little back plate like this where you could attach the sling that it comes with, but we went ahead and put a nice little SB tactical brace on here. It's a folding brace, so we can shoot it both ways. So we're gonna try the pistol style. We're gonna throw that brace out and see how it functions like that. It's a really nice little firearm. So now, to get down to the numbers for ladies and gentlemen out there that love those numbers, we're looking at a barrel length right here of 5.75 inches. We've got an overall length without the brace of 14.9 inches. We have an overall length with the brace on here that we went with. It made it 24.25 inches when it is not folded. We have an overall height right here without the mag of about eight inches. And when we have an unloaded weight, we're looking around five pounds with this firearm the way it is. When we're looking at thickness, we're looking at about 1.25 inches. We did test the trigger pull. It has a 6.75 trigger pull, so it's almost seven pounds. So it is a bit of a heavy trigger here. It does have a safety on this firearm, which you can see right here. It's a flip up, flip down safety right here for your right hand and your mag release is right here, paddle style right here, or there's a push button on the other side that does the mag release for this firearm. Now this is set up like an MP5 clone. So there are little mounts here. There's a sling mount right here. And then I added a QD mount right here so we could attach the sling at some point if we wanted to. But we all know what we love about this firearm is the slap. Everybody loves to do the slap. Anyone who has watched Die Hard, this is one of the movies we all grew up with. All right guys, we're gonna head out to the range today and we're gonna run 200 rounds through the firearm today. We do have two of the steel magazines that came with the firearm. I did pick up a regular H&K plastic mag. We're gonna see if it can run the H&K mag because it says it is compatible with a lot of the H&K parts. Now what else we're gonna do is we're gonna run that 124 grain like always. We're gonna run Remington 115 grain, PMC 115 grain, and then we're gonna run the lax reloaded ammunition that we have a lot of. And it's 115 grain also. So if you guys reload, we're gonna make sure this firearm is gonna be able to take those reloads for you. So. Let's get out to that range and let's check this thing out. Good. All right, now that we're out on the range, we're gonna run this AP5-P. Uh, I keep wanting to call it an MP5 because it is an MP5 clone. I'm really excited to go through this. We're gonna run the 124 grain first and then I have the plastic MP5 mag that I bought. Uh, we're gonna see how that works with this, all right? So let's see how she runs. First 124 grains went perfectly. Now we're gonna see how this Plastic mag, they're supposed to be compatible. We'll see how good they are. You can already tell it's a bit tighter of a fit than the other one, but I did get a round in there, so let's see how it goes.
Man, that's fun. One thing I do notice is hand guard where the plastic is is really small. This metal part's getting a little warm, so maybe a set of gloves would be in order for firing this firearm. All right, I'll let Riley take his shots now. Look at that slap. Good to go. So I do like this H&K MP5 mag I picked up. It's a window mag, it seems to work great. I can see when I have 30 rounds, I can see how many I have left. So I'm gonna take some more shots with this. We're gonna fold that brace down, shoot a little bit more fun. You can see with that low recoil, it's really not hard for me to shoot this without the brace. It was actually kind of nice because I didn't have to get my fat face down so uh, close to this brace, let me tell you. Definitely going to tell you that a red dot is in the future for this buddy. All right, so now that we got our first shots in, let's go get our final thoughts on this gun at the range today. All right, so here we are with our final thoughts on our AP5P. Now this is the one with the shorter barrel, which is really kind of nice. I did end up having to put gloves on this section right here behind this plastic handguard. Got pretty warm throughout the day when we were running those 200 rounds through it. The handguard's nice, you can put your hand right up in there, but still, you know, my pinky was really off, so it was getting a little warm. Both of us had to put gloves on today. I had a great time shooting this, like I said. Definitely gonna have to put a red dot on this. Getting my face down into this rear sight, you really gotta get down low on here. So I'm gonna put that mount on there next, and we're gonna get a red dot for this when we go to the store. So the safety was a little stiff today. It's a little hard to get off and on, but I think that'll wear in as time goes. The QD mount was nice that we put on here. Everything functioned great. I enjoyed shooting it. With We did have one malfunction. It kind of shoved the round off to the side and it pushed this round in, this nine millimeter. So we did have one, one malfunction. Um, I'm gonna blame this probably on this reloaded ammo, but what are you gonna do? Um, other than that, it shot perfectly the other 200 rounds. You can see it did get a little dirty. There's some striations on the side of this. So I'm gonna blame that more on the ammo than the firearm. All the factory ammo ran through this perfectly. Like I said, with that one malfunction, I'm not really worried about that. Uh, it ran great with the regular mags that came from the factory. And I really did like this H&K mag that we bought, the MP5 mag, that window mag. I kind of really like those even when I shoot my AR. Now, what I really, really, really enjoyed about this is the recoil. You saw with my arms extended, and that roller system really, really helps with that recoil. And of course, I love doing the slap. So. That alone is just quintessential to those 90s movies that I grew up with. And you know, I've always wanted one of these. Um, the price point is a little high. I think I got this one for about $1,700, but these are out there for you. They're a great option. They're really fun to shoot. 
low recoil, so somebody in your life that may be of a smaller stature can even fire these. The muzzle adapter is great, it flips off, you can take this off. Underneath here with this flash hider is a three lug and then that threaded barrel under, underneath. It does have a protector on that barrel, so you can unscrew that. Screw the presser on or use the three lug to put something on there. What'd you think about this today, Ryan? Uh, I thought it was good. It didn't have very much recoil. It was accurate. It was hard to miss with the gun, so, uh, you know, that's, that's what you want to hit, what you're aiming at, so that's good. And that's perfect. We really had a good time out here shooting today, so a little father-son bonding here on Family Firearm Reviews. So, join us for our next one. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Comment below. We want to hear from you. Get more content from Family Firearm Reviews by joining our Patreon and checking out the links to